I think that what it is that we're missing is people are using, us included, using the world rankings as power rankings. Yes. There's not a, not a good disc like, golf power ranking. That's what I want. I want guys, a power ranking. Screw world rankings. World are, rankings suck. I want a power ranking. That's are, what I want. Yeah, you guys, are, you guys are treating it more like how the UFC does ra- uh, uh, rankings of where it's like the number 12 guy fights the number four guy and beats him and then jumps up like six spots. No, I don't want it to be like that drastic, but I want... I don't want it to be like, so like you did good at so Worlds like 11 months ago, and so now you're still going to be in the top 20 for no reason. Like that's That doesn't make any sense to me. So that's where I want power rankings. That's what I want. I don't want world rankings. I think world rankings are cool, and I think that they should so exist. How far, for, back is, how far back is too far back? For what, power or world rankings? Your, your power rank- rankings. Power rankings, I think we go like... I think that you go like the most recent six tournaments are weighed super heavily, and then you don't consider anything outside the top fifteen most recent fifteen tournaments. So, would you have been fine with Luke Humphreys being like number two player in the world in like week three? In the power rankings, yeah, yeah, I think that's where we need okay. a separate we need a separation because he would have never been world number two. No, but no. power rankings, he would have been at the time. Yeah, two. at the time, like he he. <clears throat> There was arguably no one having a better season than Luke Humphreys. Yeah. It was either like week week three or week four or something like that. Now, you would have to factor in like started. six tournaments back. So Luke Humphreys probably would have never quite got to like number two because like... Well, that I, makes no sense. Why would you go all the way back to the offseason? Like past the offseason? Well, it would just be the, the first few tournaments of the year you'd have to do that because like you'd probably have to come out with... What it really be is you'd have to come out with a preseason one. And you had to base it on that until you had six tournaments this year or something along those lines. Because, like, you don't want it to go you into last season. You know how bad those rankings are. Yeah. The, I, I, my, only, my only thing is, like, the preseason rankings for, like, college football are absolutely abysmal. Well, yeah, I'm just and trying to come doing, up with a way. It's doing a lot of things. I know, but it's doing a lot of things. I think I think what you guys really want. There's power rankings. Want, like, I want power rankings. No, you want the, no, you want the eye test. You want... You want that's people, what that would be power rankings. Want, power rankings would meet, meet the eye test. Yeah. Notre Dame is never a top five team. Ever. No, no, like I don't care about in that. The top five at the beginning of the season. No, no, no. Okay, but that's yeah, you're you're yeah. pulling you're pulling sports that would never translate well to disc golf because the reason Notre Dame like starts as like a top five team or whatever because they're powerhouse school, their strength of schedule, blah blah blah. Then they get wrecked, but then you have a school like UCF or whatever they were where they can go undefeated, but they never play a big school. Week in and week mm-hmm. out, disc golfers are playing each other. When when That is true. When Drew Gibson wins a pro tour, you he beat Alabama, Clemson. They were all there. No, you're... You know what I'm saying? You're right on that. So You're right on that. Power rankings, when applied to disc golf, would work because you would, like, it, the initial preseason, yeah, that would kind of suck. You know, our I'd actually should I pull up our preseason rating rankings? Did we come out with them this year? Oh yeah, do that and see what it is. Let's see what I happens. think. I think what you're I think what you're going for is not like a bad is not bad. I just think what you're going for is you're going for like who's trending right now. Who's, That's what I'm saying. Power rankings. Yeah, I want I want it split. Yeah, who's, yeah, who's playing good right now? Well, it's because we but keep problem, using world rankings and world rankings and power rankings shouldn't be the, only, the same thing. The only thing, though, all I'm going to say is the only thing with your ranking system <clears throat> that, it, you know, it's interesting to see what people people would want to see. Your ranking su- system would be would fluctuate drastically tournament to tournament because you're only you're only picking the last six tournaments or so. So yeah. you could have someone like like a. um am trying to think who's like done well the last couple. Tournaments. Well, you would still factor in. They're like past, you know, the 11 or 12 tournaments past that. If they would just be weighed like half Why? to get it Why? accurate. Well, so you can't it's, have a. It's almost it's almost pointless, though. Because no, because it's the same thing of in it's weighed that little when it's weighed that little someone coming, you know, someone that's in 50th, that's in 50th and then rattles off a first, a fifth, a tenth. Like at the end of that stretch, they're, they're going to be able to sneak 50, in the top 20, which they should. It might be in the top ten. No, I'd have to do. Th- I'd have to set up the math on how to weigh it. But I'm saying, like, if, if we go back to basketball, like you you were using earlier, 
if mm-hmm. the number uh, an unranked team beats the number one team, and like the yeah. unranked team is kind of on the bubble, they might sneak into like twenty third, and the number mm-hmm. one team might drop to like. Well, it 10. depends on where. There is no technically unranked team. Every team is ranked. They're yeah, just, but I'm saying the top, the top top 25. You, so like the 30th, not in the, the top 25, they're considered unranked. The 35th team might hop into like the top 25, and the first place team might drop down to like 12th. But then if the next weekend, and like if you use that for disc golf, the next weekend, the 34th ranked team that's now 23rd loses and goes in 50th, they're just gonna go back down. And it's gonna be like trending story for a week and then they're they're gone and if this guy that dropped down to like eighth is now wins again he can pop back up to third or fourth or whatever but i just i think that's what we want in our heads but we don't have that yet and so we have to use world rankings as power rankings because like i agree with you like luke humphreys would have never been world number two but he could have been the number two best player in the world for this season so what about Chris Dickerson? Isn't, then? isn't, isn't that just, not isn't that just the a disc golf? Hmm? I said so. I said so. What about Chris Dickerson? You know, he's not playing West Coast. Would he just drop from the power rankings and then have to work his way back up? No. So it would be we'd you have to him. you'd have to have a same type of like like most of these do like the Elo system that UDisc uses, like the mathematical equation that Judah uses, where you have like points and stuff. To where you're penalized for not playing, but you don't drop off the face of the earth. Gotcha. So like Dickerson, if he does he's not gonna play till July. Let's say that he's right now in third place on Judah's ranking. By the end of July, he might be in like fifteenth or something like that. Okay. But then as right. soon as he shows back up, it picks up where it was. Hmm. Type Interesting. Thing. Okay. Because you gotta have well, some type of like you make, don't show make up. Make some power rankings. You I'm you gonna, and I might have to do that. I'm gonna have to I'm not smart enough Why don't by you just any means. Do that? We've got we I'm got gonna have Judah to. doing the world rank. Yeah, we got Judah. I'm gonna doing have to figure rankings. out a, a mathematical equation of some type. No, I don't even think you go mathematical. I think you and Trevor just sit down. We just down do our gut ones. Oh heck yeah. Do you want to hear my let's go to my preseason top 20? This is actually, right, I mean let's let's see where you're at. I'm a fortune teller. Okay. Number one, Ricky Wysocki. Number two, Paul Macbeth. Three, Eagle McMahon, which that one, again, he's injured. So I did put uh, everything indicates he's going to come back. We won't fully know until we see him back on the course. So I did put him, you know, uncertain. With an asterisk? Yeah. Okay. So if we eliminate Eagle, then we have Dickerson, then Calvin Heimberg. So those, you know, pretty easy to pick those top ones. But they can be interchanged however you want. Number six, he's definitely let me down. Kyle Klein, put him in there. He, I wouldn't put him that in that range right now. I don't think he's had that bad of a season, though. But I wouldn't put him that high. I will say he's seventh in Judah's world ranking. So if we're going straight to Judah's, I'm like almost well, on the yeah, money he, right now. He won an event last year and got second at a major. I'm almost on the money. When there was only two majors. Well, Adam Hammes, uh, <laughs> I put in seventh. I, again, think he'd be outside the top ten currently. but That's a bit high. Yeah, on, on Judah's, Hammes is ninth. So, so far, so good. Drew Gibson in eighth. I would agree with that. I think he's still around there. Kevin Jones Mm -hmm. in ninth. I don't know if I would agree with that, but I think he'd be close to there. He's had some pretty good recent ones. Matty O in tenth. I think you could sneak. I think you could make an argument for Matty O to be a top ten player. Vino McKella I put in eleventh. I don't really know what he's doing this year. I think that that's way, 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 way too high. He just had a third place finish at DDO. Never mind. Boom. I'm goaded. This is incredible. Where is he on Judah's list? Um, his list might be not the greatest for Europeans because he doesn't have last him. Year. He doesn't have him. So Vine is yeah. not even ranked on Judah's list. Yeah. Uh, number twelve, I have Nate Sexton. He's fortieth on Judah's list. Ooh. Okay. So that's something. Joel Freeman in thirteenth. That one's pretty close. I think you can make an argument for Joel to be a top 10. I think Four, it's higher than that. Yeah. 14, Andrew Marweed. I don't know I don't know what Marweed's done this year. I feel like I haven't heard his I name. I think Marweed's like a second half kind of guy. Yeah, like hopefully. He, he, he really he starts picking it up towards this second part of this. Yeah. He actually probably will do really well at this course. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's there, yeah. Uh, Mason Ford in 15th. I think Mason's probably closer to 20th, but, you know, predicted that. Nicholas Antia, 16th. Again, I'm not sure where Nicholas is at. 
uh, he's not going to be in Judah's rankings, and that's what I'm using right now. So I don't know where he would fall if he was ranked on there. Uh, Gannon Burr, 17th, underrated on my preseason top 20. But I think it might be pretty accurate. Where does he have Gannon? He has him in 13. Gannon's like, yeah, Gannon's like low, low 10. I put so. Presnell in 18th. Um, and he hasn't been playing too well this year. No, so, far, so that one I was off. off. Any, any, that one he can pop off at any time, though. Okay, Presnell. I think I lied earlier. I think Vino McKello might be on here. It doesn't let me command F search because I just typed in Presnell and I'm looking at his name and it didn't come up. So Presnell's in 30th on Judas. <laughs> James Conrad in 19th. I'd put him kind of around there. Too. I'd put him around there. I think he might sneak. I think he could be like 15th or 14th. You guys are you guys are hating on James Conrad for no I'm not reason. hating He's on James Conrad. He's had a decent season. All right, I'm He's pulling had him up. He's a decent season this year. I'm pulling him up. I uh, yeah, de- He's yeah, a- he's had a decent season. He's a top 20 player. I put him that's what I'm saying. He's in a decent he's season's top 20. Player. He's a higher than top player. He's went 23rd, 12th, 4th, 11th, 15th, 10th. Okay, I'd put him like 12th. And he won worlds last year. He won one of the two majors last year. I mean, that's last year. We're factor. This is a power well, ranking. Calendar this year. is a power ranking. Okay. This is power a power ranking. ranking. This is, is yes. this is currently right. you're walking up to the course. Yes. Where is James yes. Conrad yes. coming? Number twenty. He's I have probably Nico like, he's probably like twelve. He's probably I, like twelve. I, I I could agree. Like twelve to fourteen range. I could I could feel okay with that. That's if you're what I'm doing saying. like just this season alone, he's probably like around twelve. All right. I'm gonna talk to Trevor tomorrow. Trevor and I are getting a. We we joked about it on the podcast. We called it the I don't even remember. I made up an acronym for how foundation. much different is yours going to be than the tour the tour points? How much different is that? It'll be. It won't. It shouldn't Isn't be that too what different. Doing it shouldn't be different at the end, but right now it kind of will be because again we're about to not see Chris Dickerson for until July. Oh, so you're basically okay. Yeah, or like yeah, players okay. like until there's enough tournaments that the points all like mm-hmm. start getting dropped out no. and stuff. Then the pro tour rankings like can't be accurate quite yet because players aren't yeah, picking and can, choosing what they're playing. Yeah, you can you can early season some people can definitely boost themselves up in tour points by playing every event and other players don't. And then when you start having players when you start having those some of those tournaments drop off because you can only count so many that's when I think you start seeing some changes. So yeah, that makes, that makes sense then. So yours, yours really ultimately should almost in line. Well, no, not really because what, at the end of the season, you're not even going to count the beginning of the season. No, no. What you yeah. did, what you so did like at James, Vegas won't matter. James, yeah. James Conrad could be a top five player at the end of the season. Yeah. If he just plays well towards the end. Cause yeah. it's like, who cares what he did? At the That's beginning. basically, I'm going to just look really heavily at the last six. Maybe we'll call it like the trending top 25. Cause I think if oh, we you just gonna do 25. Yeah. Well, you gotta do 25. Gonna do top 10. I mean, I you could do top, top 10, 10, but I mean the top 10, the top 10, a lot of times going to be agreeable. The top 25. Like if, if someone's missing from the top 10, you can be like, Okay, well, he's probably like 11th or 12th. Someone's missing from the top 25, then, I mean, there's going to be fists. They're getting thrown. slided. Yeah, because then then you'll start hearing. You know, that, that's when people really start coming after Trevor and I, is if we slight someone from the top 25 that they think's a top 10 player. That's where things get electric. Yeah. That's when it gets fun. That's what we did on the preseason top 20. There was one player, I forget who it was. It might have been last year's preseason top 20 I did. I just forgot they existed, to be completely honest. Like, it didn't even cross my mind this player was a person when I was just typing it out because I did it fully on just gut. And then if there was one that I was like 50, 50 on, I went on to like look at their seasons and compare each other. And I just forgot a player existed. And so I like posted my top 20 and someone was like, are you kidding me? I, don't, I still don't remember the player. I don't know who it was. They're like, are you kidding me? How is this person not in your top 20? And I was like, what? They definitely are. And then I went, and I was like, Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a top 10 player that I just forgot or top 15. So that's where they, things get really fun. Because then I just made up some fake excuse as to why I didn't put them in there. I was like, I don't think they're going to do anything this year. Or something like that. <laughs> which, was, which was very fun. So I'll, I'll talk to Trevor. We'll get like a trending top 25 or just we'll just call it the foundation power ranking or something. You can never have too many rankings, you know? No, you can't. 
No, no I mean, you can. can have as many. You can, ha- you can have way too many no, you can, things. How? No, you, you can, can have as many as you, you yeah. can have as many as you want. Well, but people, some people I could do one. I could do one based on the color. People just aren't going to care. Trevor said he was going to start. He said it on a grip lock that he's going to start a like Twitter account where he just like lists things like list people just puts like 10 disc golfers in a list and he was originally going to do just like super sarcastic ones but i was like no trevor what you should do is you should actually rank like 10 players but don't tell anyone what the list is so like each week you put out a new top 10 but you don't say top 10 what so it could be like top 10 outfits from the past week but only trevor knows that so then people have to guess like well what, what was this top 10 uh-huh. or it could be top 10 worst outfits in trevor's opinions or i don't know why i'm sticking on outfits but you, you know what i mean i think that'd be funny you just tweet it and get people riled up top 10 vans yeah there you go silas now you're talking Who, who's living the sweet life of zach and cody yeah zach and cody you just put random top 10s and let people just kind of figure it out fight it out in the comments who that's, that's what, are, what are we cool. ranking i like that i can get behind that yeah, just, why hasn't he done that yet that's a great idea I don't know. He's, I mean, today's only Tuesday. He said it yesterday. Hasn't he? It's been like 30, oh, he 36 yes. hours. Yeah, he said it on yesterday's grip locked. 